Hey y'all, this is just a real easy way to reverse the contents of a text file. Um, those of you that searched for it and found your way here, you know exactly why you want to do it. Um, those of you that have stumbled across this or are just kind of wondering, you know, why would you need to do that, um, there are some very good reasons. Um, I'm just going to go through one of the more common ones. A lot of times when you have something like an error log, um, you might have contents of a text file that are going from newest to oldest. So, like if we look at this, here we go. We've got some of the newer ones at the top, and then as we go backward, they get older. Um, so sometimes you want to reverse those so that you can see the, you know, oldest and work your way more current. Um, and then sometimes you just want to do the opposite and you've got something that's more current you want to work your way backwards. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go through this easy way to reverse the contents of a text file. Um, basically, you just go here to SourceForge and you look for text file reverse. Um, once you download that file, all you do is you drop it into um, sysroot and for those of you that want an easy way to get to sysroot um, just go to start run and bring up the command prompt or the run prompt and type in system root just like that print or percentage sign system root percentage sign click OK and it opens C windows um, and then here you see I've already actually got it right there um, so once you've got that um, you can bring up either the command prompt or a PowerShell prompt um, and then the usage is going to be reverse and then your forward slash and in this case I'm going to do H to get the text uh, help text so we've got um, slash O colon um, is our output slash I colon is our input so um, I'm not going to do it from the command prompt I actually just like PowerShell a lot better um, but doing PowerShell it would work the same way if we wanted it to. Um, to reverse a text file we can do uh, let's do errors.txt and let's output that to um, some new errors.txt okay there we go. So if it's a really, really large file, this might take a second. So where it says reversing contents, this may take a minute. You might see that for a minute or two. Um, but since that was a relatively small text file, we've got it complete already. Um, and then if we go in here, we look at it. There we go. There's some new errors.txt, and it is the opposite, oldest to newest. So um, we can also do where we do no output and this will force reverse IDX here reverse um, text file reverse to overwrite the original file with the new contents so we do that again it was pretty quick bring up the folder we open up errors.txt and just like that last folder we created this one is now reversed where we've got the oldest at the beginning of the text file and the newest text file or the newest errors at the end of the text file um, if we want to get it back the way it was originally, it's easily reversible since all we have to do is reverse it again. So reverse and look at our whoops, look at our original errors file, and there we go. We're back to newest at the top, oldest at the bottom. So that's it. Just real quick and easy way to do it. Um, if you have any questions, need further illumination, or just want to see another easy way to do something that isn't always as easy as you would like to be let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do um, this one was actually meant as a solution so that on reversing text files a lot of batch logic and whatnot wasn't required um, same with PowerShell for using PowerShell a lot of times you want to use the easier way to do it rather than writing a script to do it especially if you're doing a one-liner so we can do this as a one-liner um, but it's also completely scriptable so if you have an existing script where you want to say you know for you know your DLIMS and do and reverse you can just call this instead of actually writing the batch li batch logic yourself and having a long hard to read batch script or tech PowerShell script um, so there you go thanks and enjoy